worship video series. My name is Katie and I'm so glad that you're joining us as we take a closer look at all the different parts that make up a worship service. Today we will be learning all about gathering for worship. So there's two main things that we will talk about under this topic. The first one is worshiping God. And each week, the different parts that we learn about, we will add the symbol to our banner and worshiping God church is our symbol for worshiping God. And we will also be learning about our call to worship. And the bell is the symbol for our call to worship. And if you're a first grader joining us today, then you should have your first grade worship folder handy, which will be helpful as you go through this lesson. The materials that you will need are inside of this folder. Um, your worship book, which is found right here in the center. You're going to need your guide to worship. And you are also going to need a Bible. And you will also need a bulletin, which can be found inside your folder as well. And once you have these materials ready, then you're all set. Open your A Children's Guide to Worship to this page. We assemble in God's name. There are four regular acts of worship that we use the most. They are, we hear God's word, we sing to God, we pray to God, and we give to God. Through these videos and on these pages, you will see that worship follows a definite plan every Sunday. The church mice on every page will help you follow the plan. God is very pleased with us when we worship together. We are all children of God. Prelude. As we gather to worship God, the beautiful organ music helps us feel closer to God. Look around to see what is special about the service. Are we sharing communion today? Are we having a baptism today? Which choir will be singing today? Can you tell what season of the church year we are in? Can you find the first hymn in your hymnal? The call to worship. We stand and share words that invite us to begin worshiping God. The hymn of praise. We stand and sing a joyful song to praise our God. Hooray for God. Prayer of the day. We begin with a prayer to tell God how much we adore God. Sometimes this prayer reminds us of something special about God that we are celebrating today. Hello, and welcome to our worship training videos. This series of videos will help you understand what happens in worship when we gather together to sing our praises and to give our offerings to God. Did you know that preparing for worship takes way longer than just a Sunday morning? Staff and members prepare all week, and on Sunday, everything sits ready. The choir, the ushers, the pastors, and all the people who are a part of making worship happen have their special moment. When you come into the church, who do you see there? When you turn on live stream church at home, who is there waiting? When you walk into the fellowship hall for the net, who is standing there? This, this is your church family. These are the people that gather together every Sunday to worship. And at the beginning of our service, you can sit and look at your bulletin, either online or in your hand, and you can see some of the things that are going to happen that day. If you look around the sanctuary or around the net or on your screen, you will see a lot of things there and a lot of people there, and every one of them has their purpose for Sunday worship. The goal of this series is to help you understand a little bit about what each one of those things are. You might see the pulpit. You might see the baptismal font. You might see the communion set or the offering plates. You might see someone with a name tag on or a robe on. You might see someone at the organ. I wonder how many parts of the church service you have taken time to notice before, or maybe what has surprised you before. 
And maybe now that you get an opportunity to learn what some of these things are, how you will feel about them going forward. One of my favorite things to do when we first arrive at church is to find the hymns in the hymnal or the verse in my Bible. I might pull it up on my phone or I might open a Bible in my hand so that when the pastors read the scripture, I have it ready and I can read along as well. I also take some time to look at the songs that are being sung and who wrote them and what they say and what they mean so that when I am singing along or listening, I can think about the words and how they are a part of worship. But I think my favorite thing about gathering for worship, whether it is at home or in our church, is seeing our church family and being a part of that church family. And knowing that worship is our Sunday opportunity to come together and to praise our God and to spend time learning and listening together. The call to worship is the time that we take a deep breath and turn our hearts to God. We speak together words that remind us what we are there for. And it gives us a moment to change gears and to stop thinking about the rest of the world and start thinking about worship time. We use the word assemble to mean coming together for worship. We assemble in God's name. That means we come together as God's people and God's children. You might assemble as a family at the dinner table, or you might assemble as a class at school. An assembly is a gathering of people. And we come together as a church family because it helps us to follow God and to listen to God and to learn together. Did you know that we follow a certain order of worship when we come together in church? It might change a little here or there, but there are reasons why all the different parts happen when they happen, and you're going to learn about every one of them in this series. Pull out the bulletin that's in your folder. What is familiar to you in your bulletin? What is confusing to you? What words can you read? What words do you need help with? What's your favorite part of worship? We put together all these different parts because they serve different purposes. Your activity sheet for today is going to be your cover page and pages one and two in your notebook. Please pray with me. Dear God, we thank you for our church. We thank you for your love and the ways that we can come together as a family to show you that we love you, to learn together, to pray together, and to listen to your word. Please be with us when we sing, and be with us when we confess, be with us when we give, be with us when we witness baptisms, be with us when we are listening to your word in church. And all God's children, all God's children said, Amen.